In these times, men become learned through patience and took the advice of the learned and thus used this advice justly towards themselves. But of this time, men take not the advice of others, neither have they patience and this shall hinder their very existence. Thus we give you the mysteries of creation. But even as we give you these things to fall upon your ears, there will be those that will refuse to believe any of the things and who say you dream them or that evil spirits spoke to you thus of these things. We say unto you they are blinded by their own ignorance. They close their minds, they cover their ears, they shut their eyes, they shake their heads. And if a radio walked as a man in their presence, they would still deny these things. For they who deny the truth deny their own existence, deny the Creator, and set themselves up as the Creator, and babble from their mouths the untruths which they lie unto their brother, and spew forth gibberish and say, this cannot be, for I shall tell you another truth, and only my truth shall be the real truth, and the real truth shall become a lie, and lies shall become the only truth. And the falsehood that they have built up their lies upon shall topple upon them as a house upon sand, and it shall cover them up, and all that be covered with them shall grovel in the dust, shall walk but not move, their eyes open but not seeing, their ears bent but not hearing, their tongues loose but not speaking. We bring you the truths, and if you record not these truths, nor speak of these truths to others, fear not, for these still be the truths, and these truths shall not go away. But many shall be ready to receive them, yet many more shall not be ready. In fact, most shall not be ready, either this time, or a great time yet to come. But of these things, judge whether it is wise to tell these truths now, or at yet another time, or whether they should be laid up in the ground that men walk over them in ignorance, saying, I know not the truth, for my mind is as a little child and I am a fool. Note, what was spoken to Apsarus in that time is still the same today as I feel that today is that great time to come that Aradia spoke of. Therefore this teaching is for all yet only for the chosen ones. The ones who choose themselves put themselves first to learn of these teachings and take their part in this most ancient faith, as they will be the ones who benefit the most. Iopsarus II, a.k.a. The Genially Q stand on a solid foundation that was paved by the Creator and his first messenger, Apsaras, our exalted teacher, of whom you will learn of the walks he took to spread these teachings far and wide. Subscribe to this channel and like the videos, as this will help us in our mission to reawaken the world to the truth of all things.